There is no county in Ohio as heavily forested and as sparsely populated as Vinton County. It has barely a population of 12,000 living souls, about the same number as the mid-1800s, and perhaps some of the people who lived there then have never left. And that brings us to Moonville. The untrained scout would easily get lost on the path to the ghost town. That is little more than broken foundations. The earth is swallowing and dried up wells providing a direct path to the underworld. Then there's the train tunnel, the tunnel of the dam. The year was 1856. And in the woods of Vinton County, Samuel Coe put railroad tracks across his land and Moonville was born. <laughs> it was named after the local grocer, Mr. Moon, supplied the local miners and railroad men with what they needed while they were still on this earth. But for many in this coal mining town near the hills of Zaleski, they would not be alive for long. It was a hard life for the 100 or so people who lived here. Dance on Saturday night being the only respite for miners and railroad workers who risked their lives and often lost them in this tiny town. The killer of Moonville seemed to be the train and its favorite killing ground was the tunnel. 25 people lost their lives in and around the tunnel, victims of the train. For years, visitors to Moonville speak of seeing images, having stones thrown at them and feeling a chill near the tunnel. And they find these figures on it. And pictures, after being shot, seem to show an image that was not there when seen with the mortal eye. Jeanette Quackenbush was one of those victims. We took the video. My daughter was kind of going around, dancing around it. Nothing in the video. We took it home, did the video, put it on the screen, and here is this figure walking down the right-hand side. His name was Frank Lawhead, a young man of 21 in November of 1880. He was a train engineer who worked the Marietta and Cincinnati Railroad that took the coal from the rich mines. As dangerous as the rail work may have been, it was better than being a breaker boy or slate picker, as they were called, young boys and teens that went underground for one dollar per week. None of that for Frank Lawhead. At age 21, he was a successful man, a true railroad man. Earlier that year, Thomas Edison received a patent for his newfangled electric lamp, but here in the deep woods of Ohio, Frank Lawhead still used a lantern. Perhaps that's why the train dispatcher didn't see him. Near King's Station in this county on Thursday last, Engineer Lawhead and Charles Crick, firemen, both of Chillicothe, were instantly killed by collision of freight trains, which we are told was the result of a mistake of train dispatcher. Athens Messenger, Thursday, November 11th, 1880. <laughs> by 1895, there were printed reports in the Chillicothe Gazette of a ghost appearing in Moonville at the point where Lawhead lost his life. Through the years they continue, all at the exact spot where Frank Lawhead lost his life. The spot where Jeanette Quackenbush saw something. Could it be Frank Lawhead still working the Marietta and Cincinnati rail line? Long gone because of too many deaths. <laughs>